Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to manage notifications on your Galaxy Note 5. So come into your settings and then we're going to come over to the device tab. You can either swipe over there or just tap on device. Now come into sounds and notifications and then down at the bottom of the screen under notifications tab we have a couple options. I have do not disturb which we're going to cover in its entirety in another video so be sure and click on the card up in the top right hand corner. We have app notifications. This is going to allow me to choose all of the applications that are installed on my device and choose what notifications I want from those apps. So for example, let's go ahead and tap on Facebook. I can either choose to block notifications, set as priority notifications, and even hide content from the lock screen. So blocking notifications will basically disable any notification that Facebook would want to send to me from coming through on my device. Setting as a priority will show notifications on top of all other notifications, letting Facebook be the first one that I see. And then hiding notification content will go ahead and hide the content from the lock screen whenever my device is locked so I don't see those on my lock screen. And these three basic options are going to be available for every application that you see in these app notifications list. So even if I tap on Instagram, there's the same notification options. Even if I tap on Amazon, same notification options. So those are going to be the same system wide for every application that you see here in this list. Come back out into the sounds and notifications, and there's also the option to turn on or off the LED indicator. So on the actual physical device next to the actual selfie camera, we have our little speaker that's going to allow us to hear our phone calls. And then on the left of that is going to be a little LED indicator that will flash blue whenever we have a notification. Turning this on or off will allow that to either flash blue when we have a notification or not flash at all. So you can go ahead and choose these options here for our notifications. Now there is one other notification option that's going to be for our lock screen. What we're going to do is come back out into our actual settings. We're going to come over into the personal tab and now we're going to go to lock screen and security. Tapping there, we see on the lock screen we have notifications. So these are going to be notifications whenever our device is locked and we have our lock screen set up. So here I can choose to show content, hide content, or do not show notifications. If I choose do not show notifications, everything will be shut off, I have no options, and no notifications for any application will be shown on the lock screen. If I choose to hide content, it will take the text that would regularly be shown, say if you got a text message, it would actually just put in dummy text so that way you wouldn't see the content of the message before opening it up. And then if we show content, whatever the content of the notification will be, will be shown. But notice down below, whenever we have show content or hide content selected, I'm able to choose applications I want to see on the lock screen. So here I can swipe through every one of my applications and start hiding them. So if I didn't want these specific apps to be shown on my lock screen, all I have to do is tap off and now they're going to be off. But I can also come up to the top and either choose all apps or turn all apps off and just turn on the ones that I want. So that's going to be faster than actually having to go through a long list of applications and toggle off each one you don't want. You can just come up here to the top, turn them all on, turn them all off, and then just come down and start selecting the applications that you want to see on your lock screen. So those are a few different ways of customizing your notifications on your Galaxy Note 5. And for more Note 5 tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.